Hey guys, I'm LB. I'm 23 and this is Deep, by Arthur Dash. This is my first puzzle that includes a faceplate as part of the solution. I'm honestly not sure what to think about this puzzle, I don't really like it, so I'd really like to hear your feedback. Alright, Arthur Dash, I will give you my plain and simple, honest feedback, because I'm 23, and this is Deep. What is that about? Like, may maybe a return path, perhaps. Hmm. Interesting. Cannot cross this gap without the light bridge. Gotcha. Portal. Surface. Can't take the cube, uh, cube with us. Need two cubes for the exit. Gotcha. Well, that's convenient, isn't it? Alright, let's start doing the obvious stuff first. This does make sense. I see. That is a return pass. Gotcha. What those portal surfaces are for, but I guess they're just extra for fun. Alright, there's the light bridge. There's the light bridge we all know and love. So, how do we go about swapifying these cubes? That is a good question, I think. Well, I think for starters, we want to do something like that, right? Oh, interesting. You can actually use it now. Sometimes when it's oriented like this, you can still use it despite the light bridge being above it. I think cubes can sometimes phase through the light bridge and, and still interact with it, but maybe it's disabled. Alright. Well then... I have a feeling I should not have put my portals the way I did. Yep, I know exactly what I did wrong. That's easy enough to fix, though. Come on. But it does mean we will have to use the return path. Wait, actually, hold on a sec, how do I get back out of here? If... Hmm... What happens if I do this? How do I fix this? Obviously I would do something like this, right? But then what? Oh, then I can just do that. There we go. You gotta use your brain to untrap yourself. Like a normal person. Oh, it responds to speed as well. How convenient. So that's a full reset then. Alright, so. Here's the plan. Do that. Move this cube over to here. Then leave it behind, move our green portal here, and then we're gonna respawn the cube, like a normal person. That's already a decent puzzle in itself, that's like a... that's like a Mel quality puzzle right there. Except, I think Mel was slightly harder, maybe? Still, good, good so far. Good on that, so far. And now, we can start manipulating things to suit our preferences. There we go. We can head back up through here. Thankfully, this button is conveniently located in just the right spot for us to do that. Whew. And that's the whole puzzle. Yeah, like that. I would rate that as an easy puzzle. Maybe... Maybe... Bordering on very easy, but... It's good. I like it. Nice introductory puzzle. Yeah. I actually kinda like it. I mean, there's simpler ways to do it, and why is my phone vibrating? But yeah, there, there's simpler ways to pull this off. But I do like... I do like some aspects of it. I can't quite put my finger on it. But yeah. Easy. And okay. I like it. So. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!